All hell Macbeth. All hell Macbeth. Did you read this book in high school? Because you probably should have to help you understand this film. I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So Michael Fassbender is back on the big screen this time as Macbeth. I loved him earlier this year as Steve Jobs. He did a fantastic role delivering us one of the best performances of the year. Now the director of this film is Justin Kurzel. Right now he's filming somewhere doing the video game adaptation of Assassin's Creed. I'm sure you know the story and the adaptation for the book and or play was put into a film and I have to be honest with you, this is probably one of the worst movies I've seen this year or possibly the worst I've seen in my entire life. This thing was absolutely horrible. I could not wait until it was over. I love Michael Fassbender, but in my opinion, he didn't even do a good job. No one did. I mean, to sum this movie up into three words, it is monotone, soulless, and dry. And I was so happy when the credits hit and when I was able to walk down the stairs and run to my car and think about something else other than this piece of crap. I mean, seriously, I am not trying to be funny in my entire life. I have never seen so many people walk out of a movie theater and that is exactly what happened. I mean, I've never seen a film, a TV show or anything where sex between a man and a woman where they want to partake is being led to believe it's more of a daunting chore than an act of passion. It was uncomfortable to look at. No one in this film was acting at all, just a bunch of Shakespearean words that are played out like they're in the play, but it just did not work for a film. And for the first two thirds of the movie, it was a bunch of that's how they were talking to each other and i'm just like oh my gosh what is going on the only good things about this film was the very beginning and the very end because in the very beginning we had a very nice action scene that was pretty intense that calmed down on the gore but still showed it to you in the weird way without just being blood like this is a song movie everywhere and the way they slowed down some of the shots was like that old max Payne video game and that was pretty nice but I don't know what it was. Something came over to me and I said, you know what? I bet this is going to be the only great scene in the film. And I was right. After that, it was just a bore fest. I mean, oh my gosh, I hated this movie. If you was actually right here with me wanting to explain to you what really happened in this film, I couldn't tell you because honestly, I just don't know. I mean, I tried to pay attention. I tried to focus, but my mind just started to drift every other five seconds. I was more focused on the brand of surround sound speakers in the theater than the movie that was on the big screen. This movie was so boring. Guys, I did not like this movie at all. If I had to rate it out of a 1 out of 10, this gets a 1 out of a 10. Yes, a 1 out of 10. And that's pretty damn bad if you ask me. But hey, that is just my opinion. Just because I like or dislike something doesn't mean that you have to like or dislike something. You may love this. I seriously doubt it, but you may love it. I thought it sucked something serious. This may be the best movie you've seen in your entire life. But like I said, this is just my opinion. So have you seen Macbeth? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you off? Have I turned you on? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you liked the video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. If you did not like the video, that's perfectly fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. Look at the bottom of your screen right now so you can find all my other outlets. If you want to go over to the website to get a written review, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff and share the video. I'm not going to get mad if you share the video, but guys, thank you for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion. Peace.